It's time for our Seen and Unseen segment, where we expose the big cultural stories of the day. And for that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. Now, Raymond, protests are a part of American life, but some are more appropriate than others. Well, I'll let you judge where this one falls, Laura. But over the weekend at Joel Osteen's Lakewood Church in Houston, abortion activists bracing for that Supreme Court decision that could overturn Roe v. Wade decided to protest during Pastor Osteen's service. Watch. It's my body, my choice. It's my body, my choice. I am who I say I am. I do what I say I can do because I have a choice. I have a choice. I have a choice. And I'm going to have a choice. Mm, this is my protest. It is misplaced. And now she has been misplaced. Why are they disrupting Joel Osteen's service, Laura? I mean, I guess it's because it's televised mm. live. But he's hardly a pro-life firebrand. And if you're going to protest in a church, <laughs> what does taking your clothes off achieve? Aside from, I guess, reminding people near you that it's time to update their <laughs> Peloton subscriptions. But I other than that, I, was just I don't know what say that, that does. Ray, if you're going to take your shirt off in public, get the abs a little tighter first, okay? Just a well, little bit. Sorry. The, That's I mean, mean, seriously, That's fresh. though. This, I mean, we're going to see many more of this type of protest. Mm, I hope these people don't continue to do it during religious services. That's no. off limits. And, and probably the year's most notorious protest, Laura, was Will Smith smacking Chris Rock in the face over his joke at the Oscars. Now, the target of that joke, Jada Pinkett Smith, is finally speaking out on her uh. Red Table talk show about alopecia and that infamous moment. Now, about Oscar night. My deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. The state of the world today, we need them both. And we all actually need one another more than ever. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It was Jada Pinkett Smith who was infuriated that her husband and the crowd laughed at Chris Rock's joke. It was she who had a word with Will Smith before he stormed the stage. I mean, this is like Lady Macbeth weeping over Duncan's death or Meghan Markle complaining that she was cut out of the Jubilee events. This is your fault. You caused this. I, I, I hate this kind of justification after the fact, trying to wash herself of, in, uh, of, of guilt here. It's really no, a bad look. It's the whole thing. Is, I, I'm so tired of it, but yet we're drawn to it like a really bad car crash. Right? It's horrible. <laughs> horrible. Well, it's the need to justify in public and yeah. try to wash one's sins. Just confess. It's easier. And, Laura, the most important protest, perhaps of the century, was brilliantly executed 78 years ago mm -hmm. today. I'm speaking of the D-Day invasion. The Allies not only attacked Nazism and liberated Europe, but showed the power of a united free people fighting bravely and the, for the common good. You and I were in Normandy for that 75th anniversary of D-Day, and it was incredible, mm. emotional standing on that sacred ground and looking at those nearly 9,400 markers in the American cemetery. And uh, we spoke to some of those D-Day veterans, you'll remember, Laura, but only a few dozen showed up this year, given their ages. Uh, though 98-year-old Jake Larson went back to Normandy Beach for likely his final visit. Here's what he told NBC about his brothers. I feel their presence right now. Their souls are right here. Witnessing this, I'm not the hero. I'm here to tell you that the heroes are buried over here. The message is protect our freedom. Honor these heroes that have given their life at a young age. Honor these people. God bless mm. him and all those men who sacrificed so much. But, Laura, what a disgrace that it took the White House and the president until 845 tonight to issue a tweet about D-Day. Now, Biden has issued full-blown proclamations for everything from Pride Month to Earth Day, but no D-Day proclamation. But they did get a tweet to honor these heroic warriors. This is woefully inadequate. God bless them, and we should recall their sacrifice oh, my goodness. every day. That, that, why am I not surprised by that, Raymond? It's, but we were there for the 75th. That was 
Uh, I think I was bawling most of the time. It was so moving and uh, so beautiful. Uh, so, well, Laura, it's, it's like the Queen this weekend. This is someone with duty and dignity. They put service first. That's what these men embody. And we could all learn a lot more from that, particularly our young people. It's a disgrace this wasn't elevated and talked about. No, now we tear things down. Raymond, thank you for that. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.